Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing our stocking stuffer idea video. These are our stocking stuffer ideas that we have for our three girls. Now I do want to say I am in our master bedroom of our RV. We are a full-time RV family so our space is tight and the only place I can record this video is sitting on our bed because there's literally no other room to do this. Uh, so we uh, ha did have to be kind of like mindful of what we were buying for the girls um, as far as size and functionality and just everything because we don't have that much space so this is what we got our girls for Christmas I guess I shouldn't say our so this is what Santa brought for our girls for Christmas this is what they look like once they are complete all of them have the exact same thing in them the only thing that's different is the Barbie on the top so this one is Everly's she loves Minnie Mouse so Santa brought her this one and uh she got Pocahontas. So these dolls, you can get them at Walmart and Target, I believe. I got mine at Target. You can also get them on Amazon. They're about $8 a doll. So they're really, they're a good price for a Disney product. I mean, this is Disney that we're talking about. A Disney product for $8 and it is a nice little doll, which is Jasmine. And then for Madeline, he brought Snow White. And the girls already have a lot of these, like Elsa, Anna, Rapunzel, um, Ariel. I think we have a few other ones. But anyway, so these three are ones that they don't have yet. They do have a big Disney princess castle, which is why Santa has chosen to bring them Disney princess dolls versus other Barbie dolls. So for the first thing, we have our stockings. This one is Kaylee's stocking, as you saw. Madeline's is Paw Patrol. And Everly's is Minnie Mouse. And these, I believe, were from Target as well. I think they're $15 each for these ones. The girls did pick some out at the dollar store, which is also really convenient if you need really cheap stockings. The dollar store does have them for a whopping dollar. Um, but they were smaller, so um, Santa went ahead and got bigger ones. So the first thing that was put at the bottom of them is these Barbie color reveal. They really, really like these. Uh, I think these ones were $9.99, I believe, uh, at Walmart. So these are really cool. If your kid is really into surprise toys or anything like that, these are great because not only does it come with the Barbie in there, but it has like hair, shoes, um, an outfit, and they're all in these little packages. I don't know how well you'll be able to tell I can kind of see that. They're all in these little packages and what you do is you dump everything out and you fill this up with water and then you throw the packages in the water and the packages dissolve to reveal what surprises you got basically. So color reveal Barbies, they really really like these. There's a whole bunch of them. They range from um, little itty bitty ones like outfits, shoes I think you can get, animals to like a really big $50 box of I don't know what it is and I'm not interested in finding out for that price but for nine dollars a couple bucks they really like these super easy they kind of start losing the pieces and everything after a while but they really like the surprise aspect of it and as long as they still have the functioning doll they'll still play with it so this is really really easy to shove down like into the little foot area of the uh, stocking because we're trying to maximize space here so we're really filling this guy up so putting that in there like that then we have the same product color reveal Barbie color reveal this is the baby so we've got like there they have different sizes so the size that you just saw is like the size of their Chelsea doll so it's kind of like the little kid version maybe like five-year-old kid um, this one is a baby and whoop, this one comes with the baby and then it looks like a bottle or a binky and a hat of some sort. I don't know. We haven't done this one yet, but Santa thought it was pretty cool. So Santa brought it along and it looks like it has a different color, like a little cup or a pool or something that it comes with. Let's see if that will focus for you. I don't know if that will focus. 
but it has like a little, I don't know, a bowl or a pool or something that you put the water in. So that was easy too. Also just kind of shoved down right there. Then next to that, everybody knows this stuff. We've got some Play-Doh, all different colors. So each kid got a different color. This looks like Santa brought Kaylee purple. So purple Play-Doh. Um, a lot of people say, don't get my kids Play-Doh, all that stuff. I don't care what you buy my kids as long as it's they're not screaming. That's basically my theory. Um, my kids are screamers and they fight and if Play-Doh is messy but it's gonna create some silence, I'm cool with that. So there's that. Uh, another thing that they saw on TV that they really really wanted, I don't really know how well this works, but oh I should say all of that stuff was from Walmart that I just got. So, um, But this one this Santa got from Amazon, and I'm not, I'm not sure how well it works, but it is a little yo-yo ball, and it looks like it just comes straight back up, so it's really super easy for kids. Um, these were a pack of five on Amazon, so the girls only needed three, so I'll probably re-gift the other two to somebody for a birthday or one of their cousins for Christmas or something like that. So they each got a yo-yo and it seems like it'll be okay. It just auto retracts so it's pretty easy for them. So we're going to try to get this down in there. This is where it starts getting tricky. I'm going to push that down as far as we can. Okay. Now the next thing is also an Amazon product and they've been really into making ice pops and popsicles. So these were from Amazon, they're little popsicle makers and each one of them got Minnie Mouse. There are different versions, so there's Mickey, I think there was Goofy and Donald and all different kinds, but for the sake of if everybody doesn't have the exact same thing, somebody's going to fight over it. Santa knew that, so Santa brought three of the same identical thing. Thank you, Santa. Then we've got our Barbie. So this is the Jasmine one and there's lots of options. So if your son or daughter really likes a certain Disney princess, they've probably got it. Unless your kid's favorite Disney princess is Flynn Rider like Everly, she, she is sure that Flynn Rider is the best Disney princess. I mean, he might as well be a princess, right? Might as well. Okay, so now we're gonna try to get this in. And this gets tight. So there we have our little princess sticking out of the top. And our very last thing are these Haribo gummies. They love, love, love these. But these ones are the red and green ones. So you can see they are the special Christmas edition ones pick those up. I believe they're a dollar at Target, I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's what they were. Dollar at Target. So then we have their little gummies sticking out. And now we have three identical stockings for three beautiful and very spoiled little girls. This one questionably on the naughty list this year, but Santa still came. Amazing how that works. So there we go. That is our stocking stuffer ideas for our girls to just give you an idea. Uh, like I said, they are all exactly the same. Everly's two and a half. Kaylee just turned four the day that I'm recording this, turned four. And Madeline is five, so they all pretty much play with the same things. Everly wants to be like her big sister, so she just gets the same things as them at this point. But yeah, there we have it. Hopefully this video has helped you or that you've enjoyed what our girls are getting for Christmas in their stockings. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what your favorite item is, if there's anything in here that your kids would like, or what's in your stocking. Let me know. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.